We're talking nickel and cobalt now on the sidelines of the Noosa Mining and Exploration Conference. With me now is Craig Lennon. He's the Managing Director for Highlands Pacific, listed on the ASX as HIG. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Oh, so much buzz around cobalt, so I was excited uh, you stopped by today. Uh, first and foremost, tell us a little bit about uh, your mine, which operates in, in Papua New Guinea. Sure. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> the, the project's called Ramu Nickel. Um, it's been operating for about five years now. Um, it's at nameplate capacity, uh, producing about 34,000 tonnes of nickel and 3,500 tonnes of cobalt. We own about 10% of the project um, and um, it's producing some very good cash flows for us. And, and you have a connection with Cobalt 27, which a lot of our North American audience is, is familiar with. So tell us about that relationship. Sure. We just recently announced a uh, streaming transaction with Cobalt 27. So we will forward sell part of our Cobalt and our nickel to them. Uh, and they will pay us an upfront deposit. And the advantage of this is that we get to repay the debt that we currently have to our JV partner. Um, and that increases our ownership percentage from 8.5% up to 11.3%. Now, with the buzz around cobalt this year, was that more of a priority for you than the nickel? Uh, yes, it was. But I think as a medium to long term, nickel is a, uh, is a good spot to be in. Um, there's certainly been, a, in the last 12, 18 months, an extreme rise in the cobalt. Um, and I'm sure it's come off a little bit now, but I'm sure it's going to continue to rise going forward. But I'm still very confident in the nickel price and a solid price going forward. What do you uh, make of, or how do you feel is the investor knowledge surrounding cobalt? Do you think there's a lot of misconceptions out there? Uh, yes, there is. I mean, in Australia, we've got a number of cobalt potential companies, um, companies that are really riding on the back of this increasing price in cobalt, but with projects that are probably really going to struggle to ever come into fruition. And that's one of the things we've been trying to say about our company, is that we are a producer of cobalt. We're not hoping to be a producer in five years' time. We're a producer right now. What do you think is one of the largest drivers of cobalt demand? Oh, it's definitely around the electric vehicles and the growth that that's going to bring on. Um, and I think the demand sits on that side and the supply issue is the fact that a lot of it comes from the DRC. The DRC's got some problems, potential problems going forward. Um, if, that, if that happens, then all of a sudden you could have a huge amount of supply that goes out. Of well, and also, uh, they've been plagued with all these reports of child labour uh, involved in the cobalt industry in the, in the DRC. That's right, and there's more and more uh, end users are wanting to track their raw materials all the way back to where they come from. So being a producer outside of the DRC is a good position to be in. Finally, you know, we're here at the Noosa Mining Conference, you know, packed, packed attendance here. What's the, what's the sentiment like? Well, it's, it's positive. I mean, I must say, our booth, we've had people coming up there all day yesterday and all day today. Um, I just did my presentation and it was very, uh, it was very positive there. So. Um, uh, it's, it's a good outlook and I think hopefully it's going to continue to rock, go through for another good period yet. All right. Well, Craig, best of luck, continued success. Nice chatting with you. Thanks very much. And thank you for watching. We'll have much more for you on Kitco.com. Okay? Let's go.